Hey, thanks for clicking my face. I'm excited to have you here with me today. This is my finished look. I used a new palette today from ColourPop. Super exciting. Um, I'm going to speed through most of this video because I'm trying to shorten them. But, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure out what's the best plan of action. So, let me know below what you think of my video styles and what you prefer. And we will adjust accordingly. So, if you want to see how I get this look, then just keep watching. Alright guys, we are trying new lighting today, because I am trying to figure it out. I've watched a couple videos, I've read some stuff. We'll figure it out guys, we'll get there. We will get there. I saw a quote today that said, be brave enough to suck at something new. And guys, I'm feeling so brave. <laughs> Oh, my God. All right. I did not sleep well last night. I think last night was the worst night I've had sleeping in a while. My husband is sick, and he sounds like he's choking when he's sleeping. He's got a sore throat. And then my dogs woke up at, like, 1.30. Another one woke up at, like, 5.30 and puked on the stairs. And... It's just, it was one of those nights. I got this little sample when I get my new foundation in the mail. This Pure Love Your Selfie 4 in 1. I'm going to try this primer out today with my foundation. It's really slippery. It doesn't feel silicone -y though. It feels kind of just like moisturizer. Do I look color corrected? A little sticky, not too much. I'm gonna go in with my, I lost my cap. <laughs> with my setup, my uh, desk is not against my wall because I need to fill, put my camera behind there, my, my phone, with my light. So things are falling down the cracks and I don't know where they're going. <laughs> like falling into the abyss. And better news, my face is breaking out less. Yay. All right. I tried this foundation once over the weekend, and what I found was that it looks better. I'll put it in here. Um, when I apply it with a brush, so I'm not gonna mix in anything today with it, but I'm gonna do it with a brush first and go over it with my sponge. And you know, I never, I never apply foundations with a brush. Really, it's out of sheer, sheer laziness that I do. But this one, it almost looked too dry with the, with the sponge. It was like the sponge soaked up all like the luminosity that the face, the foundation gave me. gonna set a little bit of my under eyes with my loose fit me powder okay so I bronzered and contoured a little bit with the bronzer stick. I foundationed and powdered and concealed. I'm liking this foundation so far guys. I'm liking it a lot. I look like how I want to look, you know? I still have makeup on, but that's okay. I don't mind. I'm wearing makeup. So in the mail, I finally got my new ColourPop palettes. This one. The Bare Necessities, which is so pretty inside. Ooh, I used it one day this weekend. And I also got this 
this palette and I was super excited about this one. So I think I'm gonna use this one today. There's some nice neutrals in there. Some little pops of color, shimmers. Yeah, I mean these are just right up my alley. These are all the sh <laughs> my go-to shades of similar looks that I've done for all my videos. But, I mean you're not really here for top-notch makeup tutorialing. Do you guys wear wire-free bras? I have a friend who swears by them and I found them in my size. I actually found one on Aerie because I love Aerie um, underwear. So I'm like, yep, I want an Aerie. I got one. Didn't love it. Go figure. So I decided to try again and I found one for five bucks. Oh, did Cha-cha. Oh, Cha-cha, right here, that one. Um, I found one on clearance at Walmart for five bucks. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it another try. Maybe this one will just hold me better. It's Walmart. Why I thought that, I have no idea. So I bought it and I, first mistake, I committed to wearing it to work. You don't try out new undergarments for work. So I go, I put it on, I'm like, yeah, it's not so bad. Cause it's not so bad for 30 minutes. And then all of a sudden, I feel like my boobs are hanging to my knees. I feel like they're just laying on my stomach. This is not a good look for me. I'm busty. This, that's not cute. Not at work. So I came home on lunch and changed my bra because I could not handle it. Moral of the story, wireless bras for me are the kind of bras that you just wear when you have people over and you don't want to be braless around them. Like, when people come visit. I typically am always wearing a bra. Fun fact. Man, that was a pointless story. Whatever. I'm gonna go in with wink wink. So I'm hearing a lot of feedback on my videos that they're too long, which they are. I mean, I know. I get it. I'm learning how to edit. I'm learning how to film. It's all a learning process. So I'll get there. I'll get them down to like 15. Hopefully. I'm going to take that wink wink shade that I just put through my crease. And put that all over my lid. All over. Not the typical brush I do it with, but work with what you got. Okay. I'm take this flatter brush and go into fishnet. It's pretty. Very, very pretty. Of course it's pretty. It's like a rosy gold. And that inner color I did on my dark smoky eye look like pinkish purple color. I really liked that. Liked it a lot. I'm gonna take this Benefit blush. Oh, I like this one though. Mm, I'll take this one. Um, I got this one in the little, those little tubes with the tiny little blushes, the Rocketeer, Rocketeer. I don't know how you say that. I like it. Use it. It's well loved. You can still read the writing a little bit. Just 
just a tiny bit. Is my eyebrow coming off? I think we need to brush through those again. I'll add some gel. use my NYX Control Freak because it's right here. Fluff them out a little. Have you guys ever done a float pod? I think I'm going to schedule one of those for Mike and I. I bought um, a little float pod session and um, like the infrared sauna for a local place up here not too long ago and we haven't done it yet so I think I'm gonna get that scheduled maybe for next week maybe I'll take a day off of work and whenever he's off I'll let you know how it goes I'm kinda excited about it I went to a, a hypnotist show not too long ago either on campus and I really wanted to try to get hypnotized I think that would be fun have you guys ever been hypnotized? Lash princess. Makes you look like a princess. Oh, that grazed my lid. It's getting chunky. Maybe it's always been chunky. You know, I'm going to line with my Wet n Wild, lay down the moths, but I'm going to go in with this L'Oreal Color Rouge 410 Enjoy. This is an Enjoy. I'm just going to line a little bit. I don't have a dark liner. I don't wear, I don't wear dark shades too often. I like this applicator. It makes it real easy to follow the curve of your lip. Yeah, you know, I find it really hard to not overline my bottom lip for some reason. My lip just wants to continue. That is really purpley. So I'm going to tone it down a little bit with this Anastasia. It's like a liquid lip. It looks like a gloss. It's a liquid lipstick in Mai Tai. I got this in like a Christmas pack. It's really pretty. But I don't wear shimmery lips too often. Pretty. Well guys, here's my finished look. I really like this, this palette. It's right up my alley. I cannot wait to use more of the colors. It's kind of just a simple, easy look today because it's Monday and enough said. So thanks for hanging out with me. I know I sped through most of this because I'm trying to shorten my videos, but I also feel like I don't then tell stories. And that, I like that part. So let me know what you think. Do you just want short videos of watching me put on makeup or do you want me to talk more through them. But thanks for watching. I hope you have a glorious day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Let's try a different lighting. I just feel like I don't look like natural in that light. I look real Caspery. I know it's kind of yellow though. Oh, I'll get it figured out guys.